For families that had to evacuate in one car because of the Marshall Fire, in many cases, it meant leaving the other ones behind. I found a couple cars that were like very, very similar. That was the case for Nicole and Ryan Fazio. They lost the home they rented in Louisville in the fire. Two of their other cars burned. The SUV they left in was then stolen from the hotel they were staying at, but found by police. They say it's not running anymore and need a new one, but even finding one to buy was tough. Yeah, they both literally sold the car like right before we met with them. They luckily bought a sedan from a friend, but still need to replace the SUV. And many people face the same task right now. This is a tragedy. Tim Jackson is the CEO of the Colorado Automobile Dealers Association. He says overall inventory is still low. And right now, the wait time to get a new ordered car is anywhere between two to four months. That's just the market today in uh, where we have uh, much more demand than we have supply. As for rental cars? I think it depends on the brands and it depends on the models. And because there are some models that uh, some brands that have more vehicles now than others. Spike demand because of the fire. We're looking for ways for manufacturers to maybe pump some additional inventory into this market to address the shortage of uh, cars based on the Marshall fires. And for the cars that are out there. Member dealers are working with their with our automakers. Uh, that is supplying those dealers to see about uh, potential discounts. They're still early in the process to make it all happen, but hope to help families avoid supply chain issues since they're already going through so much. It is a, it's a tough market right now, but make it uh, less tough for them if we can. Now, one at least interesting thing coming out of the cars that did burn in the Marshall Fire, much like the one that you see behind me here, is that the Automobile Dealers Association told me today that they're at least trying to form a program with the Clean the Air Foundation to form a program to recycle these cars. Jenny, that specifically involves metal recycling. The examples they use today were that they could take the material from these cars and turn them into things like equipment for parks or even gardening materials. Sure, I suppose that's one small thing that could come out of this that might be okay. But certainly a lot of people looking to get some sort of wheels again. So, Luis, thank you so much for your reporting.